There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? Your helmet full bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Oh no, I can't look. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Donato. Time out, Lulu! I haven't found your body yet, Full Bear, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you. Just after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay, I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Sorry, King! 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 Glad you could come. I love a good wedding, don't you? Now then, to the Champagne Tower, my good man! Wow, remind me not to invite you to my wedding. 
I'm running out of places to hide this thing. Ooh, this is good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? Well, I like wedding cake. Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. I, Robert Zanotto, take this man, Helmut Fulbear. The happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people until I met this man. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds and I tried to pull them out. But this mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I needed it. Just when I thought I was turning to seed, you made me bloom again. I do. Why don't you get lost, kid? How can you do this to Bob? You love him! Love? <laughs> I don't really love him. If I did, how could I have left him all alone? Helmet? Helmet would never say that! Hey! It's not safe here! Hey! I'll keep you safe. You won't feel this at all. so bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? I'm willing to give it a try. How about those? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines? Or that beard? Who's this? Helmet! So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But... how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. There I was, sinking into the icy grip of Lake Rulovia. My life flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Ah. And then I remembered the super sneezing powder I keep for emergencies. You blew your brains out? Right through my nose and up to the surface where I assume Ford found it. His mind must have been shattered before he could tell us about it. So I just ended up in Otto's unclaimed brains bin. So, uh, where's your body? I assume it's a handsome popsicle at the bottom of Lake Rulovia. Well, let's get back and get it. 
It would be nice to see how well I've aged. Or maybe not aged. Not fair. Your body's been preserved on ice for 20 years. Mine looks like this. Huh. You'll look a lot younger after we shave that beard. Oh, you do not want to see what is under this hair. Oh, what is it? Honestly, uh, I have no idea. So, this body is from someone named Nick from the mailroom? So I'm told. Uh, first question, w when did we get a mailroom? No idea. I don't go over to the new place much. The second question, where's mailman Nick's brain? Lost is what I hear. Well, they should search Otto's creepy brain collection. He doesn't keep the best records. Hey, want some gooby duck? Yes! Wait, what is it? Fermented mushroom liquor. Mm -hmm. It's all I drink now. Well, uh, all I used to drink. Yeah, no. We're smashing that horrible distillery. Honestly, it smells like you've been boiling gym socks in there. If you smash it, where will I boil my gym socks? Bobby, germs! <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fulbear. He's in there all right, but where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear! I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the bean bags, remember? Lucy! What are you two up to? We're planning our mission to rescue Helmut's body in Grulovia. And after that, we're gonna buy a treadmill and rescue Bobby's body. <laughs> How are you gonna find Helmut's body? Ford and Otto tried for so long. They didn't have Helmut to help. Yeah, I should be able to sense my body's location better than they could. <laughs> and we won't give up until we find it. It's gonna be like a second honeymoon. Good luck on your mission, guys. I just get sad thinking of that poor body out in the cold. I've had some opening nights that prepared me for much colder. 